Hey everybody, Brian Tulsa here. Man, I am beat. These long days are really taking it out of me. But uh, I did get a video done and completely ready and uploaded for the other channel for tomorrow. Start to finish, all done. I also got my, my regular day-to-day -day work done. Uh, and I also have the basically the entire itinerary for the road uh, the Route 66 trip all laid out. I've got it all written out. Uh, I've got, um, I basically have it planned. I promised a video on that tomorrow and you will get that. It's pretty much, it's pretty much ready. So, um, I'm tired and I'm probably going to crash soon, but before I do that, I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about lately. By pure coincidence, uh, I ran across a video on the YouTubes about Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Who remembers them? I remember them. It really put me in a nostalgic mood. Um, it's odd what you get nostalgic about. You know, you get nostalgic about, you know, pop culture things from your childhood, movies and such. But uh, as a young person, a lot of my childhood was taken up uh, with church and watching religious television. I didn't watch a whole lot of it, but it was always on. <clears throat> if I was at my grandmother's house, she would have uh, Christian TV on. My parents often did. Uh, and even though I wasn't like sitting down there and paying great, a great deal of attention to it, I, I couldn't help but absorb it. Uh, but Jim and Tammy Faye Baker uh, were big in... Uh, TV evangelism in the 1980s, and I remember them very well. They had a show uh, called uh, PTL, which my recollection is the, it was short for Praise the Lord. Um, I remember they broadcast out of their theme park called Heritage USA. It was this massive theme park, uh, and I remember uh, them giving pitches to people about sending in money uh, to have like if vacations at this uh, at the steam park that they were building uh, this uh, Christian paradise where you know you, if you just send them the, some money uh, you're guaranteed to be able to come and enjoy this Christian paradise and um, I also remember there was a giant, massive scandal. Now, this is something my parents probably would rather I had not paid attention to uh, because the scandal did involve sex, and uh, that's not something my parents want to be watching on TV. It goes down something like this. Uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker, they were a married couple. They started out doing a puppet show. It was a show for kids, but they graduated to doing... Uh, like a Christian um, late night show. It was supposed to be like a, a late night show for Christians, like your like your Johnny Carsons or your David Letterman's, but you know, not as cool. To make a very long story much shorter, they started this theme park. It, it called Heritage USA, and uh, it was a theme park for Christians. And at one time, it was the third largest theme park in the United States, just behind. Disneyland and Disney World. That is massive. And of course, they were bringing in tons of money for what was supposed to be a, essentially a church, right? It's just a big church, uh, tax exempt. Well, they did have their tax exempt status revoked at one point. There was an investigation by the Federal Trade Commission that found that uh, donations that were taken by the Baker's ministry that was supposed to go to foreign missions was instead funneled into building Heritage USA. Uh, and some of the Heritage USA funds were used by the Bakers for personal use. That's fraud. Uh, Heritage USA was built by a uh, contractor by the name of Roe Mesner. Uh, he was a contractor who built big churches. That name's important. Remember that for later. An FTC panel actually voted to end the investigation and the Justice Department decided not to prosecute. Uh, why? Who knows? 
Oh, by the way, the Bakers were big supporters of the Reagan administration. I'm sure it didn't have anything to do with that. I remember watching the show. Well, I mean, it was on in the same room where I was playing G.I. Joe or whatever. But I remember on the show thinking, this looks like a really fun place. I wouldn't mind going to Heritage USA. I wouldn't mind sliding down the water slides. Sounds like a great time. Maybe someday I'll get to go. You could, uh, you could send them money and get a certain number of guaranteed uh, stays at the uh, theme park each year. Uh, well, they built a hotel for this. Uh, they built a 500-room hotel, but they sold tens of thousands of those packages, far, far more than they could ever actually fulfill. That is also fraud, and Jim Baker would get in trouble for that, but that's not ultimately what took his ministry down. What took Jim Baker down was a massive sex scandal. A woman by the name of Jessica Hahn uh, came out saying that uh, Jim Baker and his co-host on his show uh, had drugged and raped her. Jessica Hahn had her own stuff going on. Uh, she tried to get a payoff. Uh, she got tried to get some hush money out of the Bakers, and she got it. They funneled some money through Roe Mesner to her uh, to keep her quiet, but she went public with it anyway. She later used her public notoriety to uh, get a spread in Playboy. I don't really see anything wrong with that. I also don't really see anything wrong with her still going public even after, you know, getting the payoff because, hey, these are public people uh, and this is a crime and the public should know about it. Uh, Jim Baker didn't deny having sex with Jessica Hahn. He just said it was consensual. That's, all, that's what they always say, right? It was consensual. But the, here's the thing. In his um, ported lifestyle, a consensual affair is still verboten. It's still not allowed. I guess it came out later that uh, all of the financial issues had caused a bit of a rift in Jim and Tammy Faye's marriage, and Tammy Faye had, um, uh, had an emotional affair with another man, and that might have pushed Jim Baker to want to have intercourse with somebody else. And while I can sort of understand that, I mean, it's still awful, it's still really crappy, but I can sort of understand it, but you still can't drug and rape somebody. So Jim and Tammy Faye, they need to step away from their ministry for a bit. They are now under scrutiny for fraud and for a sex scandal and they get they come up with this idea they call up their buddy jerry falwell and they say jerry take over this ministry for a bit for us you know when uh when the heat dies down a bit we'll 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 come back in but you you just take it over and and kind of keep the seats warm for us and jerry falwell says absolutely absolutely Jerry Falwell, he's it's his own character. He, he got his own issues. We make God mad. I, I really believe that the pagans and the abortionists and the feminists and the gays and the lesbians who are actively trying to make that an alternative lifestyle, the ACLU, People for the American Way, all of them who tried to secularize America, I point the thing in their face and say, you helped this happen. Uh, but in this case, once he got in, once he got in, uh, he took a look around, said, uh, hey, you know, this is mighty nice. Uh, that, that bit, that part about um, me giving it back to you at some future date, let's, let's just kind of forget about that. So Jerry Falwell goes, has a news conference and um, basically accuses uh, the bakers of being greedy, uh, of being corrupt, and being a cancer on the body of Christ, which was true. And since then, of course, I have learned of the fiscal irregularities. And Jim, I must tell you that I would be doing a disservice to God. As much as I love you and care for you and will pray for you, I would be doing a disservice to God and to the church at large 
to allow you to come back here now or ever. But it also gave Jerry Falwell uh, the perfect reason to just, you know, just keep it. Just, it's mine now. It's mine now. But, of course, when all the scandals broke out, donations stopped coming in. And, of course, you know, the, the theme park isn't going to be solvent anymore uh, because you can't use those donations. People are not going to donate uh, to for vacations that they're never going to be able to take because you have, like, 10% of the capacity of all of the vacations that you sold. So... Uh, Jerry Falwell, he raises some money to uh, to keep Heritage USA solvent. Uh, there's this famous clip, you can see it on YouTube, where Falwell, the perk as the reward for raising all this money, he slides down the water slide at Heritage USA wearing his suit. Uh, it's pretty funny, and I, I gotta say, I can appreciate the theatrics of it. Heritage USA closed Anyway, uh, the bankruptcy judge apparently made some ruling that made restructuring impossible. Also, um, a hurricane came through, messed up a bunch of the buildings, so it just became infeasible to keep it running. There are some small remnants of Heritage USA that still exist, and I would love to visit. Uh, it is just one of those unique places in a very unusual moment in American history. Uh, this, it's, it's in horrible taste, right? It's very kitschy, but it's there. And I do enjoy going to places and experiencing places where historic events happen. Jim Baker goes to prison and Heritage USA goes the way of the dodo. But what about Tammy Faye? Well, Tammy Faye had a bit of a renaissance. Uh, now, I think it would be a mistake to say that she was innocent in all of the financial scandals. She certainly didn't do the sexual stuff that Jim did. But uh, it, as far as the, the money that was coming in, she sure liked to spend it. And I don't think she cared too much where it came from. She may not have actively actively participated in the fraud but she actively uh, participated in going on shopping sprees and buying big houses and expensive cars and going on uh, expensive vacations with the money from the fraud. She liked that pretty much. But after Falwell takes over, Jim goes to prison, Tammy Faye is kind of down and out, and uh, I can't blame her. Yeah, I mean... What Jerry Falwell said about them was pretty accurate. Jerry Falwell told the truth for a change. They were pretty bad. They were corrupt. They 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 were greedy. Uh, but, you know, there's no honor among thieves. I mean, they trusted the guy and he stabbed him in the back. Tammy Faye, though, had something that Jim Baker did not have. Tammy Faye had empathy. She actually cared about people. Uh, there's a famous um, segment of their show where uh, she had uh, a uh, an AIDS patient come on. This is during the uh, AIDS and HIV epidemic. He came on their show. Uh, she expressed uh, love and caring and solidarity with him, which was more than the Reagan administration was doing at the time. She expressed real empathy. She expressed some of the love that uh, Christians um, are constantly saying that their religion is about, but most of them don't, in fact, show. No, she actually did. And that that made a difference. Tammy Faye was a character of, of ridicule uh, during the 80s and then the early 90s uh, after the scandal. Um, she... Um, she had the makeup, really thick makeup and thick eyeliner. Uh, at some point, I believe she had the eyeliner tattooed on, so it was like permanent. Uh, she had the big hair and she had the the shiny sequined, you know, really ostentatious uh, dresses. And uh, yeah, she got made fun of a lot uh, in the 80s. And I, I get it. I, you know, I, I understand why... Uh, that 
would be held up to ridicule, especially since it's kind of a sign of the uh, the opulence with which the Bakers lived, but she had empathy with the victims of AIDS and HIV, and she looked like a drag queen. She was very campy, you know, She had, with the, the, the exaggerated femininity. And that's where she found her second life as an LGBTQ icon. And she embraced that. Uh, she didn't uh, fear being connected with uh, the gay community. She supported them, and in return, they supported her. And uh, there was this big love fest between uh, Tammy Faye and the gay community. And, you know, I, I understand that, too. Um, she, at heart, was a decent person. She did some things that were not right. Uh, she spent a whole lot of other people's money on herself. Tammy Faye Baker divorced Jim and eventually married Roe Mesner and became Tammy Faye Mesner. And then Roe Mesner went to prison. Yeah, not, not the best luck with husbands. Tammy Faye died in 2007. Um, in the, uh, I think, early to mid-90s, Jim Baker was uh, still in prison, uh, but he appealed and got his sentence reduced. Alan Dershowitz, uh, the attorney Alan Dershowitz, uh, helped with that appeal and promised that Jim Baker would never again participate in that blending of religion and commerce that he once did back when he was the head of PTL. So as soon as Jim Baker got out, uh, he started participating in the blend of religion and commerce that, like he did back in PTL. Jim Baker is back on TV. He's back begging for people's money. This time, uh, he's not uh, doing the prosperity gospel thing. He doesn't have to. He's got a new shtick. Uh, this one is End Time Prophecies, okay? Um, and uh, basically, he's trying to prepare everyone for the apocalypse by selling um, uh, ration, um, food rations and uh, survival kits and crap like that. It's absolutely absurd. It's shameless. This is the difference between Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Uh, Tammy Faye cared. Jim cares about money. Jim Baker is perfectly content in delivering a message that scares his audience into believing they need to send him money to get things that they will need for, for the apocalypse. It's absurd. That's what I've been thinking about. That just, it, as soon as I saw the names Jim and Tammy Faye Baker, it just, the memories just slammed into my brain, and I was just thinking about it, and thinking about those times when uh, I saw the show on TV, and they looked like they were on top of the hill, king of the mountain. They, they looked like royalty, uh, and I think they felt like royalty, too. Someday, this is another road trip, okay? Someday we have got to go and visit the remnants of Heritage USA. Uh, that hotel that they built, the 500-room hotel, uh, I believe is still there. I don't think they've torn it down. It's n never been opened. It's all boarded up, but I believe you can still visit it and see it. Um, I don't know how you fit uh, 10,000 people in a 500-room hotel, but I guess that's what they thought they were going to do. But there are other buildings um, and facilities left over from Heritage USA that are still standing. A lot of it has been torn down. Most of it has been torn down. Most of it's been developed into condos and stuff like that. But uh, yes, I have to see it with my own eyes. Do you have any memories of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker? As bad as they were, or at least as bad as Jim was and is, you know, I, I can't help but have a bit of affection for uh, for them. But I don't want to take the scandals too lightly because 
one of those activities involves the sexual assault of someone who trusted Jim Baker. And unfortunately, he was not worthy of that trust. Like I said, um, Jessica Hahn, she's got her own issues, but that doesn't matter. That shouldn't have happened. Do you have any memories of Jim and Tammy Faye Baker? Do you have anything specific uh, that comes to your mind when those names come up? Do you remember uh, Tammy Faye Baker's second life? Do you remember uh, the TV show that she had with Jim J. Bullock? Uh, do you remember you know, when she made a comeback? Do you remember her final interview when she was ill and you know her body was so emaciated? I remember that. It was shocking at the time and very sad. I, I really didn't want to see her go. Um, she really was kind of coming into... Um, this new identity and this new life that she was creating that was so much better than what she came from. What do you think? Do you, do you have any memories? Please share them. I want to hear them. Uh, but thanks for watching. Um, I am going to edit this video and then I am going to, um, I guess get everything ready for, uh, the video announcement tomorrow about the Route 66 trip. I will see you then. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Brian Tulsa. I will see you next time.